Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the Zenith Pilot Type 20 Bronze Blue, 45 millimeters in bronze and titanium. This is a vintage-inspired pilot style watch drawn from Zenith's extensive early 20th century aeronautical history. So it's 45 millimeters with a bronze case. It's 14.3 millimeters thick and from lug tip to lug tip it is 54.3 millimeters with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw the watch on the wrist and as you can see it's large but large is the look. It's designed to emulate an early pilot style watch which might have been converted via welded lugs from a pocket watch to a wrist watch and it definitely has that aesthetic. I recommend you have a wrist of at least 15 centimeters circumference to wear this timepiece. It won't fit underneath the tightest of dress sleeves but it will fit underneath jackets just fine. Taking a quick look at the strap, this is described as oily nubuck leather, but don't be alarmed, there's no oil to transfer to your clothing or your skin. It simply means it has a very subtle and supple smoothness to it. That's exactly what they mean by oily nubuck. Now you can see there is a contrasting stitch and this is calfskin and that's very much the aviation watch standard. On the underside, you can see that it is lined with rubber to separate the oils of your skin from the strap and to maintain long strap life. Now you can see this is a brand new Zenith factory strap, so it's gonna last a long time. And it's matched with a titanium Zenith Star branded oversized trapezoidal pin buckle. The case has those broad welded style lugs and then we have a bolt fixed numbering plate externally as vintage zenith pilot watches would have had in the first quarter of the 20th century a large onion style crown again borrowed from the pocket watch era and then a dial of immense numerals which if you look closely enough you'll recognize as three-dimensional objects so while this appears to be a printed dial it is, in fact, a dial composed of solid blocks of Luminova comprising vintage font numerals. We have satin-finished rose gold hands at center, and they are cathedral-style hands for the hours and the minutes. We have a combination of white, orange, and blue on this matte-finished anti-glare dial. We'll do a loom shot right now. As you can see, those enormous blocks of loom are quite exotic with actual height above the dial, fun to behold and easy to read in the dark, and for good measure, all three hands are loomed. Now, turning the watch over, you can see the part of the case that is titanium. The case back is titanium. This watch is 100 meters water resistant, but it is aviation inspired, and you can see the image of the Louis Blériot monoplane, which in 1909 became the first to fly across the English Channel, and it did so with a Zenith watch on board. And Zenith has paid undying deference and respect to Mr. Blerio for that contribution to Zenith and aviation history. Now, inside the case, you can tell because of the reference number on the case back, it is an Elite Caliber 679. So, automatic winding, it is a 50 hour power reserve. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, it pivots on 27 joules. And if you want to set your watch precisely, it has a hacking or stop seconds function. And that's everything you need to know about this historically inspired Montre de Ronef or aircraft watch, the Type 20. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.